Hello everyone, welcome back. So in the previous uh, videos, you must have watched uh, the previous set of questions that we have discussed up till 185. And in this particular video, we will be discussing from question number 186. So uh, question number 186 is under national agriculture, uh, under national agriculture market scheme, all the 585 mandis or Mondays in the country are to be linked to the uniform portal by March 2019, April 2018, April 2019, May 2020, other than those given as options. So see, under this e-agricultural platform or electrical uh, agricultural platform that was established, the government was working or it's still working towards the integrating uh, of all the 585 wholesale mandis of the country by March 2018. In an emphasis manner or in a phased manner, you can see that. In the first phase, 200 mandis will be integrated by the date of March 2016, while another set of 200 will be connected to the online platform in 2017. And the rest of the Monday, definitely by 2018. So this will be done in phases and the correct answer to this is by April 2018. This is the option, correct option to question number 186. Next, moving on to question 187. Crop logging is the method of soil fertility evaluation plant analyst for assessing requirements for nutrients of crop production, assessing crop damage, testing suitability of fertilizers or none of these, which is the method of crop logging. The crop logging is a useful or it's a very useful tool to keep track of the nutrient status of the fruit tree. Okay, so crop logging can help extension personnel and farmers to diagnose possible nutrient deficiency or the amount of toxicity problems and scheduled fertilizers practice. It is widely used for high value crops, including sugar, uh, uh, sugar cane, pineapple, sugar beets, all these crops. Okay. The correct answer is, uh, for this question, answer uh, question number 187, the correct option is, Plant analyst for assessing requirements for nutrients of uh, for crop production. Next, moving on to question 188. The soil which is found in the areas having heavy rainfall and high humidity contains large quantity of organic matter and heavy black color in uh, and heavy and black in color is black soil, peat soil, forest soil, laterite soil, or alluvial soil. See, in the heavy areas of rainfall and in the areas of very heavy rainfall and very high humidity, large quantity of dead organic matter accumulates and enriches humus and organic content that forms the peaty soils. This soil is found in regions where there is good growth of vegetation. PT soils are normally heavy and black in color and used for cultivating light and less soil extensive or soil exhaustive crops. So the correct answer to question number 188 is option number two, that is peat soil. Next, moving on to question 189. Which among the following uh, which among the following is mainly used to reduce soil strength and cover plant material? Primary tillage, secondary tillage, zero tillage, ambitious tillage, or conventional tillage. Okay. The primary tillage is used to reduce the soil strength, cover plant material, and also rearrange aggregates. So it involves breaking opening and turning of soil and is mainly huge for seed bed preparations. So primary tillage implementation are Vesha plow, MB plow, ridge plow, disc plow, etc. So in this question, the correct option to question number 189 will be option number one, that is primary tillage. 
Next, moving on to question 190. The question number is wrong here. It will be 190. So question number 190 says, the method of harvesting a crop which leaves the roots and the lower parts of the plant uncut to give the, shoot, uh, the subtle crops is known as mulching, intensive farming, ratooning, zero tillage farming, or mixed farming. See, what is ratooning? I'll come to the definition of ratooning. Ratooning is a method for harvesting a crop which leaves uh, the roots and the lower parts of the plant uncut to give the ratoon or the subtle crop. The main benefit of this type of ratooning is that the crop matures earlier in the season. Ratooning can also decrease the cost of preparing the field and planting. So it reduces the effort also and definitely it's quite beneficial. So the correct answer to this question 190, the method of harvesting a crop which, uh, which leaves the roots and the lower parts of the plant uncut to give the subtle crop is known as ratoon. This is the correct one. Next, moving to question number 191. The growing of grass or legumes in rotation with grain or tilled, with grain or tilled crops as a soil con uh, conservation measure is termed as crop rotation, lay farming, shifting cultivation, dairy farming, or mixed farming. The growing of grass or legumes in rotation with grain or tilled crops as a soil con uh, conservation measure is known as leaf farming. A leaf farming. In an agricultural system where the field is alternately seed, uh, seeded for grain and left fallow, another name for this method can also be termed as alternate husbandry. Okay. So the correct answer to question number 191 is option number two, that is lay farming or leaf farming. Next, moving on to question 192. Round revolution is associated with which among the following? Meat, biofuel, potato, fish, oil seed. See, from the very name only, you can have a guesswork that it will be very much related to potato. Round revolution uh, actually refers to the adoption of a new method by the government of India for the increase in the production of potato. This revolution is aimed to double or triple the annual production of the amount of potato in India. Okay, So from, from the very word round, you can estimate it, it will be uh, potato. So the correct answer to this is option number three, which is potato. Next, moving on to question 193. Coating, a, uh, coating urea with which of the following has been found to increase the yield of crops? Lime, ash, neem oil, eucalyptus oil, or other those than those given as options are none of these. So see, coating urea with neem oil is the most uh, commonly or widely known as the spring of urea the most widely consumed fertilizer in India with neem oil is very helpful or it is helping to increase the output of crops, okay? Uh, by about, on an average, you can say of 10%, according to statistics that is produced by the Food and Agricultural Ministry of Urea. Uh, so accordingly, they have stated that urea coated with neem cake or NCU or neem oil has been found to increase the yield of rice, wheat, and several other crops that is required or that requires any kind of fertilizers or urea for production. And uh, in 2015, the government of India directed that all fertilizer urea manufactured in the country will have to be coated with neem oil at the rate of 0 0.5 kg per ton. So the correct answer for this question 193 is option number three, which is mean oil. Okay. So in this video, we have discussed up till question number 193. Okay. 
So to refer to any of the questions that was previously discussed or which have been covered previously, you have to refer to the uh, previous videos where all the questions have been discussed in thor uh, thoroughly with the answers and details. For uh, the next set of questions, that is from question number 194, I will be uh, providing it in the next set of videos. So please do follow them. Uh, you will get a lot of knowledge from these set of questions. Also, these are quite helpful to you all for various competitive exams and number definitely. So do follow them and I hope you all are preparing for your exams and I wish you all the very best for your examinations. So all the very best. Thank you for patiently hearing me watch and hearing and watching me out. So thank you. Stay safe and stay happy. Thank you.